Hello dear friends of efficient drive engineering. Most machines contain components that have to perform positioning tasks. With our Dynamic drive system, we can also realize this task on a drive basis. This function can be found as a basic positioner, or EPOS for short, in the drive. The basic positioner can control linear and rotary axis with absolute and relative positioning commands. In the following video, we show you how easily this is done in just a few steps. Our project is prepared to the extent that the hardware configuration has already been carried out and we find the drive unit with two axes. On the first axis, we will now put the basic positioner into operation. In the first step, we activate the basic positioner function module on the desired axis. Now a new mask appears in which we can define the mechanics. Here we can, for example, specify the transmission ratio of the possibly existing gear and the resolution of the position values. Common applications for linear movements, for example, are realized using spindles, whose pitch could have a value of 10 mm per revolution. The preset values would fit this mechanics without gearbox with a position resolution in micrometers. After defining the mechanics, we can now switch to the technological setting of the basic positioner. Here you will find masks for diagnosis, limitations and operating modes such as jogging, referencing, traversing tasks and direct set point input. Under limitations we can first limit the travel range by hardware and software limit switches. The hardware and software limit switches prevent the mechanical limit stub of linear axis from being exceeded and would have to be activated explicitly if required. The traverse profile of the axis can be defined by maximum speed, acceleration and jerk. The acceleration and deceleration times resulting from the dynamic specifications are clearly shown in the graphic. The basic parameterization has now been completed and below the project engineering into the drive. Even without a user program, we can already move and position the axis via the control panel integrated in the tool. For this purpose, we take the control priority over the drive. In order to be able to position absolutely, we carry out a direct referencing of the axis. As we can see, the axis is now referenced. We switch on the axis and enter the setpoint values. We want to perform a relative positioning of 100 mm. With our position normalization in micrometer, this corresponds exactly to 100,000 LU. In addition, we determine the traversing speed and start positioning. In the mask, we can observe the position and other actual values. Finally, we position our axis absolutely back to its zero position. For a more detailed explanation of the different setting options, the operating modes and the connection to the higher level controller, we recommend the further tutorials with tips and tricks for the basic positioner in the Synamics drive system. That's how easy positioning tasks are done in the drive. You can find additional videos about the basic positioner in the tutorial center. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.